Hey everyone, Ross McCorkle here with another episode of the Depot 180. Leading into the Pittsburgh Steelers' first divisional matchup of the season, there was a laundry list of players on the injury report. This shouldn't surprise anyone after last weekend's game left half of the defense on the mend. After the injury designations came out, it was revealed that Alex Highsmith, Deontay Johnson, and Carlos Davis will be out for the game, and TJ Watt is listed as questionable. Usually questionable means they are likely to play, but last week we learned that that is not always the case with Joe Hayden and Devin Bush. Speaking of those two players, they will both be returning to the lineup. The Deontay Johnson injury is a bummer, and hopefully he isn't out more than a game or so, but the Steelers have depth at that position to cover. Same goes for an outside linebacker where Melvin Ingram will fill in just fine, and boy isn't he looking like the most timely free agent signing. No Carlos Davis means more Isaiah Bugs at nose tackle and probably a bit of Henry Mondo, who was just called up from the practice squad. Defensive coordinator Keith Butler had some nice things to say about depth edge defender Jameer Jones, who made the roster after going undrafted last year. Butler said he has good hands and that Carl Dunbar has done a great job getting him up to speed on all things pass rush. Jones saw a few snaps in week two and will probably see five to ten in this game against the Bengals, especially if TJ Watt ends up sitting out with his groin injury. Butler also talked about last week's loss to the Las Vegas Raiders and specifically spoke about the Henry Ruggs touchdown that essentially sealed the outcome of the game. It seems that he was lamenting a bit about not having a player like Mike Hilton anymore, as those types of slot corner blitzes had a tendency to work out for the Steelers the last few years with Hilton. The Steelers will of course see Mike Hilton in Pittsburgh on Sunday as he fills pretty much the same role that he did with the Steelers. There's been lots of talk about the running game through two weeks as it has actually regressed from last year's pace at this time. Various members of the team have given their take, but Zach Banner broke it down best on a podcast appearance with Arthur Motes. He said when looking through the film, the line looks like they are just quote-unquote one block away from a successful run. The issue so far is that the mistake or the one missed block has been from a different lineman each time. Even still, the running game will continue trying to progress at least back to the mean as they have underperformed heavily so far. Let me know how you enjoyed the video on Twitter at Ross underscore McCorkle. And as always, visit SteelersDepot.com for your latest and greatest Steelers breaking news and analysis.